thoughts about tomorrow game about Jalgiris? They're a good team. Um, we've been practicing all week to try and you know get everything down, our defense down, to make sure that we're in the right spots for tomorrow. Uh, make sure we put on a good show. Um, you know we we had a pretty good showing on defense against Kim Key. Um, we had a good week of practice that week leading up to the game. So I think that you know this this week of practice leading up to Zagreus is going to be good for us. How do you feel here in Europe, in Euroleague? It's your first experience. Yeah, it's good, man. It's been good. You know, um, we're in a good spot right now. Um, another team that's in the same position as us that, that needs a win. And I think that, uh, you know, every game, you know, you're playing one Euroleague game a week, every game means a lot. So I think that in general, um, any team that comes in, you know, into Audi Dome, you know, we're going to try and get a win. And, um, you know, we just want to take it game by game. Um, and, it's the, and it starts with Zagiris tomorrow. Can you compare basketball in NBA and here in Euroleague? Um, I, I think they have their, their similarities. You know, there's, there's definitely the, the both have different pros and cons to it. So, um, you know, there's a lot of elite players um, in the Euroleague, um, just like there are in the NBA, obviously. So um, you see, you see what, what Luca's doing in, in the NBA this season, him being a rookie and, um, you know, and tearing it up right now. So there's obviously a lot of great talent in the, in the Euroleague, and that's the reason why I wanted to wanted to come uh, to the EuroLeague and, and Byron to, to showcase that. And, you know, instead of going back to the CBA in China, and um, I think that, you know, so far it's been a great decision. For you personally, what has been the toughest adjustment coming to Europe? Um, there's a, just a few different roles. You know, obviously there's no, there's no three seconds. You know, um, I think with the NBA, um, the lane is a little bit more open. Um, you know, being able to, you know, a lot of screen roles and, and the little pocket passes are a little bit more closed up. So I'm just trying to figure out, um, you know, different ways of, of trying to of trying to score. Coach putting me in different positions to, to really, you know, try and help this team you know, put more points on the board. And you know, um, I think that with with the type of defense that that Garris plays, you know, they're they're really aggressive, especially in the traps and um, you know, getting teams to turn the ball over. So I think that'll be a good opportunity for us to really get out and transition, break that press, and um, we score easy baskets. So, you know, I think that coach has done a great job this week of really getting us prepared and, and ready for the game tomorrow. It looked like you needed a couple of games to gel in into this new system, new basketball. Do you feel like now you're adjusted fully to this basketball? Um, I, I wouldn't say fully. Um, you know, I can still get better. And I think that um, you know, each game I'm getting a little bit better and better, especially on the defensive end. Um, I know that I can I can put the ball in the hoop, um, but each and every game I'm I'm figuring out where I can really impact the game on defense. So I think last game uh, getting a few different steals um, in the fourth quarter really helped helped us get the win. Um, so I, I'm just trying to really adjust to the on the defensive side and and really use my length and my and my quickness to whether get more you know deflections, um, a few more rebounds here and there and. And ultimately, man, just just help this team win. You know, that's that's the main focus. Regardless if if I don't score any points or, or a few rebounds, man, I'm I'm trying to help this team win to get to a level that we've never been before. And you know, that that's what I want to do. With Devin, with Devin Booker out, uh, how much changes the dynamics of the team? Yeah, man. You know, it's, that's a tough loss for us. You know, I, I think that anytime you lose a a starting center, um, he, he's really really aggressive, especially on the defensive end, the offensive rebound. Um, Man, he's 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 a hard worker out there, so it's going to be on all of us, um, you know, to really try and, and pick up and help him uh, where we're missing, you know. Especially that's that's you know eight points a game, seven eight rebounds. Sometimes it's ten, twelve rebounds. So I think that uh, collectively we all have to come together and and really you know fill in that piece. You know, it's not I'm, I'm going to put a lot of that on my shoulders, but it's not just going to be me. It's going to be Leon. It's going to be Marvin. Our, our guards are getting a few, uh, few more rebounds as well, um, just to try and help and, and, and replace, you know, Booker until he gets back. And I think that ultimately, if we do that, get a few more rebounds in the other team, I think we'll be okay.